everyone, it's Melissa here. I just got back from the 99 Ranch grocery store and this is my grocery haul from today. I have a long receipt and it was kind of an interesting shopping trip so I wanted to share with you today where the money went. This was $114.26 and I went shopping at the 99 Ranch market for my coffee that I always buy specifically at that market. Um, and I'm going to start there and go around and show you some of the special items that I buy at this market um, and also to show the allocation of where my money went. So today, this is my French Vietnamese coffee that I can't get enough of. It is the glue that is holding my family together. Um, it's surprising that I'm not drinking a cup of it while I talk to you. Uh, this coffee is $7 a can, $6.99 a can. So I spent today $42 on coffee and I got six cans. So this was a big expense, but it's about six months worth of coffee for me. Maybe less if I gift a can to my mother because my parents drink the same coffee. And since the market is out of my way, I do always like to stock the pantry and have a lot on hand so that I can sleep well at night and know that I will have coffee in the morning. We did the math on it, and my coffee habit is actually less than 25 cents a day. So if you spend a lot of money on coffee or you're looking for a different blend of coffee to try, the Vietnamese French roast is so excellent. I do brew it a lighter strength than a Vietnamese restaurant would, um, and I use a lot of milk in my coffee. So fair enough, but in the end, we're saving money on this coffee from home. Um, just going around, we went in for coffee, we got some other things today, and because uh, my priority is really feeding my family fresh ingredients and unique produce when I can find it, I'm introducing for my four-year-old and my 16-month-old uh, vegetables that I know they love, like uh, this is a type of Chinese broccoli, it has a different name. These are really inexpensive green vegetables that I can get. Um, they're fresh, they're great, just sauteed with a little bit of oil and then steamed with a lid over them. So happy to pick this up. Then this grabbed my attention. Have you ever seen anything like it? This is like a giant cauliflower fro. It's a Chinese cauliflower. Uh, it wasn't cheap. It was in the end about $7 for this. But this is going to be a huge meal for my family. I'm told it's more flavorful than our regular American cauliflower. And it's probably going to get sauteed. And then the rest of it will probably go in a golden curry that I'm making full of veggies. And my husband is very excited to hear that. Golden curry with a Chinese cauliflower. It just grabbed my eye. I mean, you have to try it. So you don't see it every day. I've never seen it and I'm as old as I am. In addition, these are called a Singapore leek or a Singapore onion. Um, it seems like a young garlic to me, so I'm gonna try it that way. Uh, maybe sauteed with a little bit of meat or in a veggie stir fry. I thought I'd give them a try today. I got one kohlrabi today. Normally, they're smaller than this and in a bunch. This kohlrabi was about a dollar, um, but I don't need a ton of it. I was glad I could just buy the one. Over here, I asked my baby in the shopping cart if she would like longanberries, and of course you know what she said. These were about $5 for these longanberries, and I love that they come on the stems. They're grown in the US, which is more and more common for our tropical fruits. Um, so I was happy to buy those for her. And then this I've heard about, but I haven't seen. This also was a splurge. It was a $5 golden dragon fruit, um, or a pitaya. And this one was imported from Ecuador, but I'm so excited to cut that open and I'm sure you'll see it on my Instagram soon. Uh, other convenience items and interesting items that you can buy at the Asian grocery store. I picked up this uh, Tamago, it's that egg, that sweetened egg that you sometimes get on sushi. I thought my baby would enjoy that as a different snack to have, a new taste for her. This is one of my favorite things. This is an Asian cheesecake. They call it an easy cheesecake on some of the labels. And this was about $2.50 and it's a, a treat to have with coffee in the afternoon. I picked up for the hell of it, I picked up this uh, pickled ginger. We are making a lot of homemade sushi, so that'll jazz it up. The baby also told me that she wanted the tiny quail eggs, so I said, okay, we'll get tiny quail eggs. If you've seen my Chinese food at home video, which I'll link below, 
Um, I did homemade Chinese food for Christmas and I shaved the skin off of mandarin oranges and used the orange juice and broccoli and beef. This is not kosher meat. Um, this is just regular beef that I picked up, sliced shabu shabu style. And so you can see, you can get beautifully marbled beef. Um, it's just great, it's thin, and I throw this in my freezer to pull out. Uh, again, it's a little bit of a splurge at eight and nine plus dollars, but I always oomph it up with my vegetables and it's really great, high quality and delicious. My family loves the vegetable and chicken pot stickers. These we do for dinner. I can pan fry them in the morning for a lunch box. They go down real easy for my four-year-old. These again, since I bought them at the Asian market, they're not kosher, but Trader Joe's does have a kosher version that people love. And if I could get there, I would have those. Um, it's no secret we send our child to a Jewish day school, so we're packing kosher style lunches for her, but we are not kosher in our house. So there are some trafe items here that I just have to be honest about. Um, my baby loves crackers and chips, and these are definitely not kosher, but they are certainly delicious. So they're um, a little bit of a treat for us to have. We opened one while we were shopping in the store. They're like a fish rice cracker that are so crunchy. Um, and this is also certainly not kosher. There's little shrimpies in here. And this was a $7 um, dim sum assortment that's so beautiful. So for my viewers who are not kosher and who would like something like this, this is a great alternative to going out with the family. I mean, if you're cooking Chinese food at home or pot stickers or steaming dumplings, you really can skip the restaurant and have a much smaller bill. So that was my haul today from the 99 Ranch in Los Angeles. I will list some of the highlights in the comments or in the information box below. If you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know. And please click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thanks so much.